I'm Moni Lashes, the drummer and stick spinner for the Babes. We're two guys, two girls playing sexy gutsy rock. I believe that drumming isn't just about having the chops and skills, you've also got to put on a show for the crowd. I love all things classic and gutsy, not just my hard-hitting rock music, but my old girl here, the 1966 Chrysler Valiant. So let's take it for a spin to the local drum shop. Okay, so there are a fair few drum stores in South Australia, and yes, some of them are nationwide chains. However, I like to think of myself as a bit of an individual and always go for the underdog. That's why I shop only at Derringer's Drum Shop. Con and the guys here at Derringer's Drum Shop are the only people I trust to deliver the goods and all the drum equipment I need. Come check them out. I'm sitting here behind my Mean Machine. This is the drum kit I use when I'm playing on stage with the babes. It's a Pearl, and uh, let's just say Pearl definitely is the best reason to play drums. I use Piesty Cymbals because they have that bite that I really like, especially for hard rock music, but they also have a great sustain that fill in the gaps. Um, I love the tonality of Evan's heads, especially working with my pearl shells. It's just awesome. And I'm a huge fan of the old school Regal Tip Sticks. I've been using them since I could hold a drumstick. Welcome to Moni Lash's Stick Tricks 101. Well, as you can see, my drum kit's set up left-handed, which is actually good for you righties out there because then it's a mirror image. So. This is one of my signature moves. It's not the most complicated, but it's definitely effective. It involves a basic rock beat with just eight notes on the hi-hat, kick drum on one and three, snare on two and four. You may notice that I do a little bit of open-handed drumming, but I'll explain it in more detail in a sec. The first thing I need you to practice is to learn patience, which is something that took me a long time. You've got to have the stick between these two fingers. You've got to pivot it in a figure eight motion. Doesn't look that great on the side, but if I pivot my hand around like this, it's all an optical illusion. Watch my count. So I'm playing normal technique for the one and two, including the snare hit. Then my normal snare hand makes its way up to the hi-hat whilst my hi-hat hand begins twirling. Now as with all tricks, you've got to keep the groove. There's no point in doing tricks if you can't keep in time with the, the beat. That's as hard as it is and the crowd will go crazy over that. It'll take a bit of practice but tell me it's not worth it. got one more really quick trick for you. This one's even more basic than the first one. Instead of playing a really boring fill with open hands like this at the end of a bar, just cross your arms over. It sounds like a whole lot of nothing, right? But it's the little things that count and the crowd will go crazy for it and they'll really appreciate the extra effort you put in. I'll show you. On my YouTube channel, I get a lot of questions about my bass drum technique. I'm a pretty big metal head, and I do understand that double bass drum is important to some genres of metal. However, I'm from the old school, and I really believe in a single bass drum, which is why I've tried to get my single foot technique as fast as possible. So, I'm going to show you just how quick I can go.
There you have it, dudes and dudettes. I hope you like my video. Big thanks to TomTom Tom Magazine for helping promote female drummers. Feel free to check out my band, facebook.com slash thebabesrock. We also have a website, thebabesrock.com. In the end, it's all about sex, drums and rock and roll, baby.